Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. Here late. The mailman ran late, but baby, did he load up that mailbox? Oh, something, something special. Something special in the box today. In this box, in fact. This is from Night Standards. Now, this knife flew under my radar, but uh, I saw it on Instagram a couple times, and I was like, you know what? Why not? So let's bust this thing open. That's right, why not? You know, that's how we operate around here. Why the F not? So, uh, unboxing knife today. This is the S90V Fat Carbon Kaiser Cormorant. It's a lot of fun. Fun little knife, especially got it on sale for like 130 bucks. Uh, the knife in this box, I believe, is a debut design. I really don't know anything about it. Like, if I'm being totally honest, I know nothing about it other than it, it looked intriguing, it looked interesting, and I wanted to check it out. So, here we are. You know what I mean? That It's, again, it's... In the heat of the moment, baby. You, I just can't say no sometimes. If I look disheveled, if I look like garbage, get over. Very full pouch package. Good, good, go good God, dude. What are you, what are you, what is this? Depleted uranium in here? What the fart? This thing is boxed up. Jesus Christ. We just peel that back and then okay all right okay enough clearly nothing left in there goodbye get that garbage out of the way and then we have another package inside the package that's how things it's how things are going today Ooh. all right oh all right okay hard hard case hard case i love it nothing left in there goodbye and that can go on the ground with everything else i own on the ground hard case knife standards their little sticker knife standards um the rr is the model name uh very excited the hard case was actually made in the usa so that's very nice nice little lanyard thing i love this i love this if i'm gonna pay close to 400 dollars for a knife this is a nice touch like you know what i mean it makes me feel a little bit better about the price tag so let's bust this thing open here oh hermetically sealed oh yeah of course i got the murdered out version Ooh. okay dude all right yep Okay, this is the Knife Standards RR, I, I believe is what it's called. It says ATR here on the blade spine, nice jimping, super clean, super minimal, almost like Vero-esque, uh, big chamfers on the handle there, uh, wire clip, deep carry wire clip, nice, Just like obscenely minimal design, obscenely clean, the blade tucks perfectly into the handle, Literally nothing. Just just the thumb studs poking up there. Murdered out everything. This is numbered. This is number 65 out of I don't know how many. But like I said, nice jimping. It is a titanium frame lock. DLC coated, I believe. Everything, which is sick. Nice uh, milled titanium backspacer there. It feels good in the hand. It feels nice. I believe Best Tech made these. And uh, well, let's flick it open and I'll tell you why I really bought it. Ooh, yeah. Thumb stud feels great. Look at this grind, first off, Co like a compound ground drop point. So a nice thin hollow grind here, real thick, sturdy tip. Nice big finger toil, nice ergonomic lines there. A uh, little bit of internal milling, but it's it's not a it's not a light knife, but it doesn't weigh a thousand pounds, right? Feels good in the hand, choked back, feels great. Feels great. Thumb lands on that jimping, no gripes, no complaints. I'm here for it. Feels good. Big finger choil, so you can choke way up here. Get all the control you need, baby. Right there. And then, of course, pinch grip. All day. No issues at all. Feels great in the hand. No hot spots. No pinch points. Lockup is solid. Relatively thick and sturdy uh, blade stock. Interesting thumb studs. They're kind of uh, little mushroom tips. You know what I mean? Very nice. Very interesting profile. And a wild looking blade. But here's why I bought it. Magna Cut. It's in Magna Cut. And uh, from everything I'm hearing, this is probably one of the last overseas OEM knives you're going to see in Magna Cut for a good long time. And I wanted to see how good of a job overseas OEMs were doing with the Magna Cut. So uh, we'll see. I'm also noticing some very subtle micro milling here, too. It's just clean, man. I really like it. I really like it. It is. The blade handle ratio when it's open kind of looks weird. It's a little bit off, but when you close it, oh, that action's killer. I mean, it just 
Slips right in there, baby. Fits right in. I love it. Minimal hardware, all T8s. Love to see it. So action. Yeah. Thumb stud works great. For the thumb flick, reverse flick. Easy peasy. Detents nice. Running on a set of ceramic bearings. Like I said, made by Best Tech. Future me, correct me if I'm wrong about the Best Tech thing. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Very, very nice. Real easy to disengage that lock. Really easy to get in there. Super smooth. Ooh. Let's check the noise here. Let's check the acoustics. Satisfying, right? You know. Very nice, satisfying kerchunk. It is a big knife. Um, Here is a pair of three. Well, it's not huge. So here's a pair of three for size comparison. It's a little bit longer, and not, but just not quite as tall as the pair of three. Still a thick knife. It's just overall, it's a big kind of chamfered down rectangle. You know what I mean? But very nice. A good size for EDC. Um, do I, where's my, uh, my rock wall? Mom, dad. Here it is compared to the rock wall so you can see. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a full-size knife. No doubt about it. Opened up. Yeah. Girthy, thick, long, just how I like them. You know what I mean? Um, also in Magna Cut, ironically enough, the rock wall, but that's USA made. So, speaking of Magna Cut, we ought to cut something with this wild compound ground uh, drop point flat straight back. Like, what do we call it? I don't even know what to call it. But it looks slicey, good belly to it. So let me grab the phone book real quick. Let's see. Let's see here. Very, it's very weighty. Uh, where's the balance at? Uh, right there, behind. Basically, the middle of the handle is where the balance point is. So it is ass heavy, but it feels it feels nice in the hand. Oh, great. Great factory edge on it. No issues. Nice and thin. Hollow grind. Again, that thick flat grind at the tip for more durability which i'm i'm here for i tend to drop my knives a lot so a good sturdy tip is uh <laughs> it's good for me you know what i mean it's good for me I'm, I'm i'm here for it excellent cutting performance no gripes the uh knife standards rr or atr future me here's what it's called here's how much it costs 385 i want to i want to say but uh that is it for me not the full review just the first impressions unboxing all that good stuff plenty of pictures on instagram and on kara's instagram so be sure to follow us there but uh, links in the description. I believe they're in stock. You can just go buy one now. Uh, definitely an interesting piece. One worth checking out. But that is it for me. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. And until next time. Bye bye now.